The next Tyreek Hill, the Bama Lambo, the fastest player in this year's draft. There's no exact word to describe Jalen Waddle. We're going to hop into Jalen Waddle and why the Giants should draft them with the 11th overall pick. Let's go. So before we actually get into some of the best things about Jalen Waddle, one misconception that we need to stop talking about when we're speaking on a player like Jalen Waddle is all he is is just speed. All he is is speed. He can't really catch the ball. He's just a straight line, you know, one of those other wide receivers. He's another John Ross or anything like that. Before we talk of like deeply into Jalen Waddle, we need to get that misconception out of our heads. Because with Jalen Waddle, you have a player that, yeah, he is very fast. That's a big part to his game, but he can go up and get the bat. He can go up and get the football. He can go up and get the football. Yeah, he's not the best route runner, but when you mostly are just going to burn guys, do you really need to have the most crispest of routes to get separation? No, you don't. And with Jalen Waddle, he can become a better route runner. That's something that's teachable. If you tell him to go on a comeback route or anything like that, teach him how to do it and do it fast, Jalen Waddle can do that. That's what Jalen Waddle does. And his whole tenure as an Alabama, you know, Crimson Tide, he never had the chance to get the main look. If it wasn't him, it was Devontae Smith or Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs. All of these guys were a part of this Alabama wide receiving group or room, whatever. And it was just amazing. It was just amazing how they had multiple first round draft picks on the same team. That was crazy. And that's why Jalen Waddle never really had the eye popping of numbers. Like he's not going to have the eye popping numbers like Devontae Smith, where he's catching 23 touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to have the looks of a Jerry Judy, who can literally has was the you know named the best route runner of last year's draft, and Harry Ruggs, who's just also just amazing with, with his speed. You know, so Jalen Waddle never really had a chance to get those type of looks, but. Now that we are sitting back and we're digressing and we're looking at this from a bigger picture, Jalen Waddle is looking like someone who could end up getting taken very early in the draft. And that's just facts. You know, I, I, heard, I know people say it's between Smith or Chase, but when you're dropping in that Jalen Waddle is bigger than Devontae Smith and faster than Jamar Chase, he makes an argument for wide receiver one. He makes an argument for wide receiver one. And with the Giants sitting there at a lemon, you are going to get somebody, somebody. And the person that's been mocked the most out of every single NFL, well, every single draft, you know, out of this whole draft class, the person who's been mocked to the Giants the most is Jalen Waddle. And if the Giants were to get a player like Jalen Waddle, you're getting someone who the defense has to respect. You have to respect him. Because if you leave him single high by himself, man coverage, your cornerback is going to have a long day. He's going to have a long day. And Jalen Waddle, yeah, he's the fastest guy on the field at all times. He's going to be the fastest guy on the field. That's one thing about Jalen Waddle. Drop him on your offense, he's automatically the fastest guy on the field. And that's not just what he does. He's not just fast. He can catch the football. He has good, consistent hands. So when we're saying he's just fast, he's just fast. No, we're talking about someone who can also catch the football. He doesn't have the drops on film, you know, but it, the only real knock on his game is route running, and that's teachable. So if you were to draft someone like Jalen Waddle to the New York Giants at 11, the Giants with Saquon Barkley, Jalen Waddle, and Darius Slayton as their three headed monster for weapons for Daniel Jones. You're getting yourself a pre, a potentially good offense in 2021. You're getting yourself a potentially a great offense in 2021. That's how I feel about it. And he's arguably wide receiver one. I don't know why people are just shadowing him. I understand, but we have to stop. Jamar Chase had an amazing season last time he was on the field with that high-powered LSU offense with Joe Burrow and Justin Jefferson and Thaddeus Moss, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and then Devontae Smith, who had that Heisman Trophy winning season last year. So I understand why. But maybe that's the reason why Jalen Waddle might be there 11th 
for the Giants. So let's keep hyping Devontae Smith up. Let's keep hyping Jamar Chase up, which is deserved. They deserve the hype that they're getting. But let them do that because when you are thinking that those two guys are so great and so vastly better than wide receiver three, maybe Jalen Waddle is that guy who point who we look back and we say, we slept on him. We're, we slept on him. You know, we didn't get him the praise that we gave Devontae Smith and Jamar Chase. And that's facts. So with Jalen Waddle, I think he has it, the next Tyreek kill. I'm not saying he is, but this is what this is how we describe him. Based on what we've seen him do at Alabama, this is how we describe him as the next Tyreek Hill. When you're thinking in a, that he has that, his speed is like a, like no other. He can stop on the dime and then just accelerate again. Like you can't teach that. You can't teach that. You throw the ball to to Jalen Waddle in space. You have a chance for a touchdown, no matter where you are on the field. No matter where you are on the field, if you give Jalen Waddle the football in space, you have a chance to score a touchdown. And you can't say that about every single NFL player. You can't say that about every player in this draft. So when we're thinking that Devontae Smith is so great and Jim Chase is so great, we have to give Jalen Waddle some respect. We got to give him some respect. And I hope we do keep sleeping on him so he can be there for the Giants at 11. He's been mocked the most out of every draft. Um, every mock draft I've seen, he's been there. If you look on any mock draft, you're seeing Jalen Waddles to the Giants more than any other um, prospect. And I see that as a good thing because you're getting yourself a great player with Jalen Waddle. So if you like these videos, um, leave a like, comment. I did these videos for, I did this video for Justin Fields, Devontae Smith, and Kyle Pitts. So if you wanna go check those out, you can. And um, more videos coming uh, today. So if you enjoyed this one, stay around for those ones. And until this big boy, Jay Dimes, I am out. Go Giants. Jalen Waddle, dude's a beast, the damn Lambo. Watch out.